Hello, Facebook land. Here we are at the Preserve at Crown Point. Uh, Madame Homes is the builder. We've had one of our customers already purchase in here and another one is uh, closing on the 25th. This is a great community. You can see here that they still are going to have several home sites available for years to come. And we'll start, uh, we'll show you that they have a lot of different models. The Avondale is their smallest single family home here, starting at 1875 square feet. The uh, starting price for the Avondale, which is their smallest, is $287,990. So we're talking about brand new construction, sub 300 is still possible here at this community, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the Barton here is 2,037 square feet, and that starting price is $295,990, so two options under $300,000. The Campbell is next, 2,187 square feet, starting at uh, $310,990. The Cannon, 2,795 square feet, $331,990. Let's move on up here. Oops, sorry guys. To the classic series. Glendale, 2501 square feet starting at 316. I'm just going to round them up to make it easier. Uh, the next is the Graham. We're looking at 2609 square feet for 322. And the Kensington, which my buddy the onside here, his favorite is the Kensington. And that starts at 350. The last series here is the Manor, the London, 2731 square feet, starting at 350. Province, 2838 square feet, starting at 355. And the Roslyn, 3552 square feet. Wow, five bedroom, three and a half bath, three car garage. And that beauty starts at 385. So since the Kensington, is his favorite. We're going to walk out here and we're going to walk through it together. Now when you're buying new construction, what you want to think about is who's going to stand behind their product, who uh, has a good name out there in the community. Obviously, it is a new product, right? And uh, it's construction. Humans are building them. So there's going to be issues. You're going to find good and bad about every builder out there. But you need to pay attention to, wow, this thing is actually I really like it actually too. Let me see if I can get a little wider angle here. No, I'm fenced in guys, I'm fenced in. This thing is beautiful. I love the stonework. Typically stonework on any new construction community is going to be an upgrade. Uh, they typically offer two to three different elevations. I like the smart keypad on this one. And anytime you see a model, just know that there's upgrades. Upgrades, upgrades everywhere you turn. Look at this. I love it. Oh my gosh, look at that ceiling height. Absolutely amazing. So we start off right on the right hand side here. Beautiful office. This tile work is great. They did a great job. Over on the left here, little drop zone. So we just did uh, the pre walkthrough or the the walkthrough for the closing that's going to be happening next week. And we didn't even know this, but there's little hooks underneath in the in the drop zone for backpacks and, and that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. So this takes you to the garage. So you walk in, and you're like, oh man. Let me put down my cell phone. Boom, USB port sitting right there. Love it. Well, we'll take a look at the garage. Briefly. Nice. So you drop all your stuff down there, then you open up, because it's just absolutely freezing here. We got this nice coat closet. <laughs> just kidding, you northerners. You come down here, the weather's fantastic. I'm in a short sleeve uh, polo today. Nice open floor plan. 
The backsplash is an upgrade, I'm going to tell you that right now. So are the glass cabinets, but gorgeous, huh? You got to have plates that, uh, that match. If you're going to have glass cabinets. Dining room, right off the kitchen. And then the living room also, right off the kitchen. So easy to uh, to entertain. Watch here. Let's see. Can we can we get the game? We're gonna get an angle, but we can get the game while we're cooking. We can look it over and check on the score. And then over here, I wanted to show you this pantry. Good size pantry. A little bit more space back behind the door there. Awesome. Uh, one of the comments that uh, our buyer made was I suggested to him adding additional recessed lighting. And today when we're walking through, he said, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I listened to you. Had I gone with just the, the pre-wire, I would have been very disappointed. And then the other thing that he did is he also added the surround sound speakers uh, to his home. Let's go over here to the left. I like the, the windows, a lot of natural light is coming in. A little half bath here for guests. And then let's go through. Man. Going with these modern grays, I like it. The builders are going to have different uh, tile packages that you can choose from. This would make a great little uh, in-law quarters, I think. Yeah, this would make a great in-law quarters. It's down here. Now, the other thing that builders do is they leave the doors off in the mile in the models to make it you know easier to kind of get a feel for the for the spaces. Hey Rachel, thanks for checking in. Let's go upstairs. This carpet's also an upgrade. When I uh, when I saw this little balcony over here, the thing that I thought of, I always think about like, oh man, let's take a Christmas picture. You know, you stand up here, someone's down there, you can welcome your guests. Maybe you're gonna have a. Uh, a Christmas party and uh, you can have the kids you know singing to people as they come and you can welcome your guests that way maybe I'm a bit old-fashioned but that's what I'm thinking nice loft area these are kind of cool what game is that from guys let me know in the comments below maybe you'll win something I think you can already tell what room this is just by the sheer size of this thing. It's always a good indication of the size when you can add a little seating. This master is huge. They went with some some marble in here. And I'll be honest, I'm not I'm not crazy about the the marble around the around the tub. I do like this hexagon. Is that a hexagon? Yeah, hexagon backsplash. That's pretty cool. I also like the trend that I'm seeing of having two separate vanities. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess hers and then his. That's how it would be in my house. The ladies tend to have more more stuff for the most part that they need to. I've sprawled out on the counter space. And hey, I like it. They look good, you know? A little private restroom area there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so this is this is the master closet. This has gotta be every bit of 
I don't know, six or eight feet across and 10, 12 feet long. This thing is ginormous. And it looks like there's a doorway here so you can go right into the laundry. Like you cannot get more convenient than that. We're gonna walk back out the other way so you can get a feel for the space, but wow. I love when they do stuff like that. Convenience. Let's make life easier. That's the, you know it's a good builder when they're thinking about stuff like that. We got knockdown texturing. So again, here's the laundry now. So we're off of the stairs in the loft. Laundry area, doorway to the master closet. And this is gonna be where you put all of your high-tech gadgets, your Wi-Fi and all that stuff. I'm always a fan of a sink in the laundry as well. AC closet. Number one, number two. Let's take a look here. Beautiful tile work. That's a good size bath. Down the hall a little bit more. So this is queen size bed. We've got two end tables there and a dresser and still plenty of room to walk around and then a walk-in closet nice spacious it's another angle sometimes i wonder if you guys would get dizzy when i shoot these videos I spin around got double pane low e vinyl windows so this is a Jack and Jill style, so the bathroom's in between for these two bedrooms. And here's the shower. I like the band. So the, the bathroom downstairs had the bands going up and down. That one had the band horizontal. What do you guys think? Do you prefer the up and down vertical or the horizontal bands? Which one is your favorite? Another good size room. You do not have to hear the complaint of, my room is too small. It's just not gonna happen. Not in this, not in this model. Again, we have a walk-in closet in this room. Ample, I mean, it's just, it's just a great size. I don't remember looking at this, uh, this closet. Let's see what we're dealing with. Yep. Walk-in closet as well. So I can see why the on-site is a fan of this one. Okay guys, I'm gonna try something I haven't done before. I don't know if I can flip this back around. Yeah, there we go. I'm still going. So, if you have any questions, if you're interested in this community, you wanna know what incentives and specials that they have going on, um, closing cost assistance, maybe some free upgrades, give me a call at 407-394-5651. I'd be happy to get you that information and we can work together to get you a great deal on this place. Until then, take care.